What's up YouTube? I'm Robert and this is the Biker Channel, B1. Today, we're talking about my journey to lose 80 pounds by riding my bike. And guess what? It's gonna be a shocker. After a lot of hard work and dedication, I stepped on the scale and what do you know, 238.5. Not quite my goal of 220. However, today I'm gonna show you where I'm at now. Not exactly the reveal I was looking to show. <laughs> Probably not the reveal that you wanted to see either. But unfortunately, that's the truth. That's basically about as WTF as you can get. And believe me, I feel the same way. And um, honestly, there's, there's like no excuse for it. The real question is, how did that happen? And to be honest, I just got complacent. Any of you that have followed the channel for a long time know that I do my best to try to keep it real. And that's the main reason that I'm putting this video out. Because to be honest, I'm nothing but let down with myself right now. There's no way that when I started this journey that I would think that over a year later, I wouldn't be at my goal yet. The key thing here is that I'm being honest with you guys and I want you guys to see the valleys as well as the peaks. It's super easy to edit this in a way that just makes it seem like it was fun and everything was easy and you should be just like me. But I want you guys to really see the struggle. Throughout the series, sometimes you guys have told me, oh, you're being too hard on yourself. And I'm too hard on myself on purpose because if I'm not that way, I easily, easily do exactly what I just did. I will go just as hard at sabotaging everything as I can go at losing the weight. So it's this like all or nothing personality that I have that um, I need to stay like diligent on myself and maybe it seems hard to some of you, but for me it's the only way that I know I can be successful. Maybe that's not accurate, you know? Maybe that's why I failed. But um, I'll tell you this much, I have learned a few things through this process. In my life, I found out that you can go through an experience and either kick the can about it, or you can look back and see that shitty experience as something positive. And for the most part, I like to look at things in the positive light, just because, I don't know, it's a lot easier to live life that way. And the thing that I learned the most through this process is when I first started, I thought I could drink and eat whatever I wanted and keep working out and riding a lot and I'd be able to like outwork the weight. And let me tell you, thanks to the 44th birthday that I just had, shit ain't like that. <laughs> it's uh, my metabolism, it doesn't work. It doesn't work that way anymore. And even riding five to seven days a week, working out three days a week, I can't do more work than the amount of damage that I can put in my mouth. That was a revelation that this is always gonna be work if I want to actually A, get that goal, and B, stay there. My lifestyle has to change. Not temporarily, like forever. That's hard for me. I'm sure that's hard for all of you. I've really like put off making this video because I feel bad. I feel bad for all the people that come up to me and are like, dude, you're doing a great job, man. That feels really good when people do that. And I don't want to like rain on the parade of, hey, they just got to meet me, you know, and tell them, you know what? No, I'm failing. I'm actually gaining pounds every week instead of losing pounds like you think I am. I appreciate everybody that's been along on this journey and I, um, I don't want to let you guys down. So what I do want to do is I want to start today by resetting that board up there and um, trying to see how damn close I can get to that goal before Sedona. So that's mid-November. I have two and a half months 
to see see what I'm made of. And uh, I think that's a better goal to have right now is just a short-term goal because it's really hard to look at the big goal and not get a little bit overwhelmed by it. If you've been watching my series and you've been like, man, why can't I be as motivated as him? I only made it so far and then I, then I fell off. Well, you know what? Guess what? So did I. And here we are together. So let's change that, right? Today. We can start today and start working forward. And um, for those of you guys that haven't fallen off, let me know down in the comments how well you've done because that's motivating. And if you had a struggle, let me know down there too. If you enjoy this, hit the subscribe button and uh, maybe the thumbs up if you uh, want to keep seeing more of these. I don't want to be a failure. I want to succeed. I want to hit that goal. I want to show you guys. I want to show you guys. I, I, want, to sh I want to show myself. I want, to, I want to prove to myself that I can do this. And one thing that I want you guys to remember, it only takes a bike to be a biker. Get out and be one.